Welcome to the first <laughs> ever Math Monday. I'm so happy. Look at this happy face. Okay, so where do we begin our math journey? All right. I know a lot of you out there, you struggle with your multiplication facts. And really, truly, they're not as hard as you're making them out to be. But I also know that we're often told we should not use our hands when we're doing math. I don't know why people tell you that. You can use your hands. And in fact, for this math trick, you have to use your hands. So there's a couple things that might be a tad bit tricky about this, but once you master that, you're good to go. You ready? Here we go. So on your two hands, you have to remember what each finger or thumb stands for. And so the thumbs are equivalent to your sixes. Your pointers are your sevens, your eights are the middle finger, your nines are the ring finger, and your tens are the pinky. And if you can remember that, you are already in a good place. So why don't we start six times seven? If you don't know your math facts, this could be kind of tricky. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, so we remember that our sixes are the thumbs and our sevens are the pointer finger. Now, it doesn't matter which hand you use. That's unimportant. I, I tend to use this hand first. I don't know why, I just do. So I'm gonna take my six and I'm gonna touch it with the seven. For every finger that is touching, it is worth 10. So essentially you have 10, 20, 30. You have 30 touching. But six times seven is not 30. You've now accomplished the first step. What I want you to do is I want you to put that 30 into your head, okay? Don't forget that number. Up next, you see that you have four fingers here and you have three fingers here. You have to multiply four times three. Four times three is, that's right, 12. So now I'm gonna take that number 12 and I'm gonna add it to the number that was in my head, which was 30. So 30 plus 12 is 42. Six times seven is 42. You've just multiplied those difficult numbers using your hands. All right, shall we do another one? Of course, why not? It's Math Monday. <laughs> Let's try eight times eight. You first have to locate your eight. That's your middle fingers. Now, the way that this works is you're gonna take everything that falls before that eight and it's gonna to come touch, on the other hand, everything that falls before that eight. So right now, you've got six fingers touching. So I've got two there, two more, and two more. So you can see four plus the two thumbs. So I have six touching. Remember, each finger that touches is worth 10. So right now I'm looking at 60 touching. Now put that 60 into your brain. Don't forget about it. You're gonna need that in a minute. So you've got 60. Now over here you've got two, and over here you have two. Two times two is four. Take that 60 out <laughs> and add it to your four. So eight times eight is 64. See how simple this is? And it works for all of the numbers six through 10. So I know that a lot of you struggle with these numbers, but we're gonna practice one together and see if you've got it, because the third time is the charm. All right, here we go. We're gonna do six times nine. All right, get your fingers ready. Now's a good time to pause this. I want you to give it a try and then Pause it and see how you did. No cheating. <laughs> I know some of you are gonna cheat. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. By now you've had enough time to practice. Six times nine. So here we go. I'm gonna locate six. Again, it doesn't matter which hand you start on. It's kind of fun just to do that. 
Okay, so six times nine. Now, there's nothing in front of that six, so I have no other fingers to bring down, remember that. But on the nine, I have a lot that go in front. So I'm gonna have to swipe all those down. So here's my nine, and I'm gonna swoop these down. When I'm thinking about this, one, two, three, four, and five. See, I've got my two thumbs and my three fingers touching. So this is equivalent of 50. Now, I want you to take your 50, stick it in your head for later. Don't forget about it. You're going to need it in just a moment. So we've got 50. What I have left is four and this guy here. So four times one is four. So I want you to take your 50 out and add it to the four that you have showing and you now have 54. So nine times six is 54. You can use your hands for this. I hope that this was super helpful for you and um, I look forward to giving you some more tricks along the way. If you loved this video or you found it helpful, please leave me a comment down below and share, share, share. Sharing is caring. So. I am really looking forward to this. I just wanted to start out a little bit easy, but with something that is hard for a lot of kids learning their multiplication facts. So <laughs> I want you to give it a try and let me know how you've been. And if you're a teacher, try it with your students. I bet you they'll be multiplying those harder numbers like that. All right, you guys, that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that share button. And as always, from the bottom of my heart to yours, thank you for being here and I'll see you at least next Monday. I don't know, we might do Saturday school, but uh, we'll see. <laughs>